everyone, T here. This is episode 56 of the N8 series that I started December 1st, 2021. And it is also Southern Time Productions Funding Drive 2022. And it's January um, 25th, 2022. So I just finished shopping at Costco. Um, Cause six just in case there's a, we're running out of stuff, but just in case there's a price increase, inflation, right? Which there already has been. I know it's that today for sure. Um, yeah. So just finished that and now I'm getting Costco gas. I'm in line for Costco gas. So, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, but it's something that, um, a working class or lower class or middle class person has to do. They have to take care of their family. They have to, whether it's male or female, they have to take care of their family. And, um, you know, it's busy, no matter if you're making $20,000 a year or $200,000 a year. It's, um, as a family, right? It's, it's tough, right? You, most of your time is spent, um, trying to provide for them or a big portion I would say most it depends on the person um, but uh, then the upper class you know they can hire people to do this stuff like go Costco shopping right imagine that to have somebody to help you do that would that be nice so anyways um, yeah just living life um, really once I get funding um, I have a decent salary um, myself <coughs> so then I can I won't hire people but um, I'll gonna stock up I'm gonna stock up on vitamins I'm gonna stock up on all these things because who knows what's gonna happen in the next uh, few years it's gonna be chaotic that's for sure things are gonna change for the better or the worse. Right now, it's some countries are getting worse, more locked down, and other ones are opening up. It's strange times. Stranger times than I've ever experienced in my entire life. It's like 9-11 or HIV on steroids. And uh, for everyone, right? It's no, no longer the other. Oh, we're okay because you don't experience poverty and pain like those people. No, it's all you know, no, you know, and disenfranchisement and, uh, you know, and, um, and uncertainty, disempowerment, right? That's everyone fears, feels powerless these days, no matter where you're in the world. So, um, it, in some places that's actually reversed, like North America, people, the Americans and Canadians tend to look down on Mexicans. Oh, they're not as developed as us. You know, and now Mexico's freer than America or Canada as far as freedom from fascism, right? So it's interesting times. It's like living in a movie. <laughs> I'm sure there'll there will if there's a humanity left after this, there will be movies made about this time. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, just checking in. Um, oh, good news. Very good news. Um, so, over the weekend, I I messaged um, Sky. I had a really great conversation with on last Friday. Who said he might be able to find a way for? He has a lot of connections, right? So, when the phone call to the right person from him, then it's um, it could launch everything. So he said he'll take a look this week. He got back to me yesterday and he said he'll take the, a look this week at what I sent him. I emailed him my documents and he'll let me know. So maybe end this week, maybe Saturday or maybe next Monday before the end of January. Um, uh, you know, Southern Time Productions and the Dreamer series could be lit, green lit. Uh, and um, yeah, everything. The dreams are going to start happening. Dreamers' dreams are going to be finally realized. All right, guys. Take care.